today we're taking a look at my top three best pistols in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We're starting it off with the P227, a semi-automatic handgun developed by Sig Sauer. It's chambered in 45 ACP and it's known for its reliability, accuracy, and durability. Now the P227 is a full-size pistol with a polymer frame and a stainless steel slide. It has double action, single action trigger. It's well suitable for both military as well as law enforcement use. It has a reputation for being reliable, accurate, and it's often used by special operations units and other elite military units too, okay? So the P227 is also popular among civilian shooters for personal defense and target shooting as well. It's got excellent handling. The recoil is top notch when mag dumping this thing, man, it really does stay tame. Um, suppressed, it doesn't really feel all that different from when it's loud either. Uh, the fire rate is the best of the three guns that I'm gonna be talking about here today. I gotta say that, right? The damage is a little weak. It only sits at like 23 once fully upgraded to MK3 and especially with those weapon mastery upgrades fully stacked, this thing only reaches a 23 damage, but I mean, it's still pretty high considering like how this game distributes damage amongst like the different families of weapons. Either way, guys, you're gonna be sacrificing a little bit of that damage for that better RO weapon recoil management with the P227. Ultimately, in a pinch though, I will say that if you do need to make a quick pistol switch, I feel that the P227 can in fact do the job because it has again that ROF where you can really ensure that once you whip it out, the, 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 the bullets that follow, it's just a proper mag dump and it's a proper kill on your target, okay? So the next pistol on this list is a 5.7 pistol. It's a semi-automatic handgun developed by Fabrique Nationale de Herstal. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's chambered in a proprietary caliber called the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. Okay, it was designed to provide a high degree of penetration and terminal performance. The 5.7 pistol is known for its lightweight and compact size, as well as its high capacity magazines. Now, the 5.7 pistol is used by various military and law enforcement agencies around the world, known for accuracy, reliability, and it's often praised for its ergonomic design and comfortable grip. Those of you who've used it in real life, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Overall, the 5.7 pistol is considered to be a high quality handgun that is well suited for a variety of applications. It has a reputation for being a lightweight and easy to handle thing. And it's also used by shooters who need a compact, high capacity magazine that is capable of delivering excellent accuracy and terminal performance, okay? It feels very much in line with that P227. However, it's got a much longer mag, okay? You're getting, again, those 20 rounds to dump if you need to before a reload. And, and, and that's really important with a pistol, especially in a pinch, okay? It also has 30 damage, okay? A 30 damage output. So it's only one damage less than the next pistol we're gonna be talking about, but it has a higher ROF of the next pistol we're gonna be talking about. Um, especially for you folks who prefer that mobility and that speed over the range of damage that this next pistol we're gonna be discussing provides. But again, I'd say that the 5.7 is like arguably the best pistol in the game. And like opinions aside, it's smooth, it's tame, it's fast, and it's mobile, and it has a bit of that vertical kick once you really start to hammer those rounds back. But all you gotta really do, man, is, is just, you know, draw back the amount of shots you, you, you fire off and you'll be able to tame it no problem, okay? So yeah, I'd, I'd say if you really are torn between uh, what pistol to use in this game, if you absolutely need a single pistol to run, I would say the 5.7 USG is absolutely a golden pick for you in this game, um, but I, w I really want to discuss my number one now, okay? And this one's my favorite gun in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and this is the gun that I think um, you can really argue that the 5.7 in this next one may be like, you know, uh, very close in, in, in how you feel about them. Well, at least for me, like, that's why I'm having a real tough time deciding whether or not I prefer this one or that one, but 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 this next one is my is my number one pistol, and if you haven't figured it out yet, it's the MK23, okay? The MK23 is a semi-automatic handgun developed by H&K in the 1990s. It's a large pistol chambered in 45 ACP, and it's also known for its accuracy, reliability, as well as its durability, okay? The MK23 was designed for both military as well as law enforcement use, and handling of the MK23 feels just right. However, the ROF and the speed of this pistol is really its biggest weakness, okay? It's pretty much the opposite of the uh, the 5.7. So when you do use it, you need to be sure of your shots or shots when you take it. But just know that when you do pull that trigger and what follows tends to be a dead bad guy. And I'll say this, this thing has the best range of like all the pistols in this game, it feels like. It has a very, very high damage. This thing sits at a 31. So it's one more damage more than the 5.7. And that's also why I kind of say the 5.7 and, and the MK23 can really be, um, you know, you, get, you can fight over which one's better because because the, the MK23 will deliver you that range. So say you need to 
you need to pick off a, a target stealthily, then that's where the MK23 shines, whereas the 5.7 shines in, in combat, in a pinch, and that's also where the P227 shines, okay? So you have really good setups. I'll say this, the P227 if you're going loud, the uh, the, the 5.7 if you know you're doing a bit of stealth as well as loud, and then the MK23 is specifically for all you stealth guys, okay? Because in a pinch, when you're going loud with the MK23, you may not be able to defend yourself, um, and that's and that's really strictly based off of the ROF, okay? Because if you have like four, four dudes pulling up on you ahead of you and, you and you're out of your magazine say on your, your regular your regular rifle you switch to that pistol you know you only have those 12 rounds but they are they are high damage rounds but that rof is low so you know you're really kind of in a pinch there and um, that's where i think you really want those higher capacity magazine pistols that have a lot more rounds to, to spare as well as a higher rof can really make you just feel that satisfaction of getting those kills in the moment okay well, those are my top three best pistols in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment. Let us know what your top three pistols are. Share it with us, man. Give us all in some, some inspiration. Other players will appreciate it, okay? We're always running, I'm always wondering what other people are using and what their kind of setups are and stuff, so feel free again to share that. And if you enjoyed the video, once again, leave a like. And thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys have an excellent holiday season. And as always, thank you for watching and take it easy.